Hi everyone! In today's video, I will be talking about new and exciting fragrance releases. By the way, if you're new here, my name is Joanna and I do perfume reviews and recommendations in my channel. Welcome! So as mentioned, I will be talking about new fragrance releases in today's video. I know a lot of you must be very curious of this because I have here some of the new Zara fragrance releases. And you know what? Let's just dive in. Well, recently I purchased three Zara fragrances, all from their latest collection. I didn't get Barbie um, just because it's not available. I don't think it was even released here in Portugal, but I heard that it sold out quickly in other countries. But then, anyway, I picked up three fragrances that I think will be very interesting for you guys. Starting off with Memorable Aura. Hmm. The notes of this fragrance is not listed. So, so basically, what I'm going to tell you are the notes that I get from this perfume. Hmm. This to me has that typical designer fragrance DNA, like, you know, the orange blossom, jasmine, and sweet vanilla, um, topped off with mango. Mm, let me spray it actually. Mm. I picked up this perfume because I don't have a mango dominant fragrance in my collection. Also, this is around 10 euros for 30 ml bottle. And I was like, yeah, why not? Um, I like it. However, to me, it's not really mind blowing, but I think this is perfect in the summer season. It has some tropical vibes in it because of that mango note. And that mango note is actually the synthetic type, all right? Don't expect like fresh, like almost mango shake kind of mango note in here because it is very synthetic. However, it's okay. I like it. It actually has a body mist vibe in it. This one actually lasts for quite a long time. Let's say around six to eight hours, especially if you overspray. Um, I'm not mad about it. I must say, if you enjoy um, that DNA from the designer's world that is like sweet vanilla with orange blossom and jasmine and, and you really love that DNA, um, I think you will enjoy this. Um, to me, I basically got this because of the mango note and I think I won't be using this on its own. I think I'm gonna layer it um, probably yeah, something with coconut. So um, yeah, that is my thought about Memorable Aura by Zara. The next two perfumes are from their Monday to Friday collection and I only picked up two, okay? Just because I don't think I need them all. Um, I only picked up what I think is something that I don't have yet in my collection because the rest didn't really appeal to me. So I decided to pick up only two. And one is Wednesday. I'm most grateful and the other one is Friday which is freaking gorgeous. Um, I'm gonna start first with I'm most grateful Wednesday. Mm. By the way this one is around 75 ml and I paid 17.95 euros for this. Actually with this one the notes are listed. This has violet, sandalwood, um, pear, freesia, apple blossom, and pink pepper. What I'm getting from this fragrance is mainly violet and freesia. I'm picking up sandalwood as well. 
but like you know that kind of sandalwood that is not even woody it's kind of like extremely light sandalwood extract maybe and like it's also just a tad creamy uh yeah anyway this to me is something that will be liked by someone who has that clean girl vibe um if you saw my recent short i actually mentioned that this is a dupe of mojave ghost i don't think they did it intentionally though mm, it's just that to my nose they are very similar wednesday is just like the watered down version of mojave ghost um actually i like mojave ghost however i find it like very fruity and strong in violet and this one being like a watered down version the violet is not that strong and it's just very light and airy i don't find it powdery at all but then you know it gives you that um clean powdery feeling in the dry down yeah that's how i'm gonna describe this one um it's nice to me it is something like easy grab i i got this one because i like mojave ghost um it's not a big love for me but you know this is like 17 euros and why not right <laughs> when you overspray this fragrance it definitely gives off that mojave ghost vibe and if someone will ask me how close is it it's around 90 percent close with mojave ghost being heavier in violet and fruits because mojave ghost is very fruity for me this one is not this is more of that violet and freesia this is more of like clean floral kind of fragrance yeah this one is a big like um i must say that this is unisex but leaning more feminine um blasting power is very weak don't expect a lot this lasts on me for around two to four hours and it's the same on clothes as well um yeah but it's but it's cute i must say um yeah so that is wednesday i'm most grateful so the other one is friday freaking gorgeous this has vanilla, bitter almond, rose, tonka beans, and lily of the valley. Mm, I really love this one, guys. This smells vanillic, ambery, and almost like suede as well. Suede is not listed, but I am getting that note in this fragrance. You know, it's warm, sensual, and a little bit sweet and powdery as well. This one is a love. You know, when I first sprayed this one, I was like, this reminds me of something I've tried or I own. And it took me two days to realize which fragrance is it this is actually very close to andrea max smart fragrance mm -hmm. andrea mac is a niche fragrance brand from iceland by the way i don't think that they are trying to do that fragrance it's just that accidentally i think i thought of that fragrance and they're only similar in the opening because the dry down is a complete different story um the dry down of this is very different all right this becomes only ambery and vanillic in the dry down so you know it's like warm and sweet opening though you get that almond and rose as well and a touch of creaminess mm. 
I love this. Um, this is something that I will recommend. Um, I don't think this is likable, meaning like I don't think that everyone will easily like this. But like, for example, I think this is easily likable. This is like it's not something that everyone will like and this one i must say will be like in the 50 50 if you enjoy um like ambery and vanillic fragrances you will love this one mm. to me this is kind of ambery fragrance that is good to use all year round um, because it's very light and airy, okay? This lasts around two to four hours as well on my skin. Like, nothing beastly here, guys, okay? Yeah, it's it's beautiful. It, it's something that I enjoy smelling. Mm. And um, yes, highly recommend. Freaking gorgeous. Now we are transitioning to niche fragrances and the next perfume that I'm going to talk about is from Tio Cabanel and this is called Peau Salé. I don't have a bottle yet, however, um, I received a sample of it from the team of Tio Cabanel just for me to give a review about it. You know, I love Tio Cabanel as a brand generally, okay? I enjoy most of their fragrances mm. and this is another banger for me. Okay, let me read you the notes. It has Fleur de Sel, Coconut Water, Frangipani, Jasmine, Driftwood, Tonka Cream, and Mineral Notes. This is supposed to be like a perfect perfume for a salty skin all year round. Mm, and what can I say? This is a kind of perfume that reminds me of a Mediterranean summer. Um, it's not giving me a tropical vibe, even though it has frangipani and jasmine. What I'm getting the most from this fragrance are coconut water, salt, and mineral notes. Mm, I love this. Um, you know, when I received this, the first thing that came to mind was actually Coconut Sun by The Seven Virtues. And when I compare them side by side, they are not similar at all. The Coconut Sun was extremely salty, while this one really smelled like mostly coconut water and mineral notes. Um, I love this one. I don't have anything like this yet in my collection, like, you know, something coconutty, aquatic, and a little bit of saltiness. So this, I'll definitely be adding into my to buy list. Um, I don't know, this is just different to me. Um, I think maybe because of that flor de sel, which means like flower of salt. I was so curious that I researched what does it mean. And it says that it's the purest form of salt that you only get by evaporating seawater and skimming off the top crust. Hmm. Interesting, right? So it's not just like an ordinary salt that is in here yeah so there you go this one lasts for a very long time on the skin and on the clothes like on clothes it will stay until you wash it off and on skin it's like around six to eight hours um to be honest when i sprayed this the first time in this um cardboard the living room smelled like this the whole day so you know having said that it really has a good projection as well 
I highly recommend you trying this one out if you are into aquatic uh, fragrance as well. Because this is not just about coconut water and salt. Uh, be mindful that the mineral notes is giving it uh, an aquatic vibe. And to my nose, it's quite strong. And for me, I don't mind. I love it because it is balanced with that tonka cream as well in the base so there is some creaminess um yes for sure from the tonka and yeah posele from tio cavanel the next two perfumes are quite hype here in the social media right now and i'm talking about acro bake and ingenious ginger um, I only have sample sizes. I just want to talk about this online shop where I got it from. It is called um, Sommelier du Parfum. So just to give you a little background about this online shop, Sommelier means like a wine expert. It is that special staff in a restaurant that offers you wine pairing with your meal imagine that in perfumery Melier du Parfum is a niche perfume discovery website that lets users find the perfumes that best match their taste users can create their own custom five sample kits for 20 euros and receive a rebate code available towards buying full bottles you can create or let the website create a list for you to match your taste Five samples plus one chosen by the Sommelier du Parfum team for 20 euros rebate and with my collaboration with them, you can get 25 euros rebate instead of 20 euros when you use my code Joanna-2023 when you order a discovery kit. I just want to highlight that to you because they are offering my viewers that additional five euros of rebate so, so you will pay 20 euros to get a discovery kit with six samples and instead of having a rebate of 20 euros you will get 25 euros if ever you want to purchase a full bottle from their website now going back to these fragrances it's that i am very excited to talk to you about um yeah bake by acro oh, this is getting a lot of hype here in youtube mm. and what can i say this has lemon zest rum whipped cream praline vanilla and brown sugar mm. um the opening of this is a very sharp lemon zest that reminds me of a lemonade with floating lemon skin peels on top you know it is quite sharp guys um it also reminds me of a lemongrass um i don't know if you are familiar with it but if you are a fan of thai food you will definitely know what i'm talking about the opening just smells exactly like lemongrass um, and it's not something that disappears quickly. On my skin, it lasts for around 5 to 10 minutes. And honestly, I don't enjoy that part. I find it too harsh. The dry down though is very beautiful and addictive. The dry down smells like... A lemon vanilla cake it is so so beautiful and gourmand so if you are into gourmand you will like this one however I think for me this is a pass just because I have lemon tart already by Teodoro Scalutinis and I enjoy it more um, it's just that I really do not enjoy the opening of this one 
yeah i don't think i need this in my collection and this fragrance lasts for around four to six hours with a very addictive dry down you guys you won't stop sniffing yourself this bake by acro and also by the way i find this very unisex next fragrance is ingenious ginger let me spray this one again mm. the sprays of this are really good you know because sometimes you get sprays that are like really hard to press to the point that the fragrance doesn't even come out properly this one really has a good sprayer anyway this one is very gingery of course it's ingenious ginger mm. this to me is like a fresh lemon and ginger tea with some vanilla essence um very refreshing very uplifting um the few minutes of it is actually giving off that masculine vibe and i find it sexy because this is definitely a unisex fragrance but you know that masculine vibe in it is just so so good this one has a very good longevity this lasts around six to eight hours and it lingers the entire day i love this fragrance okay however um i've tried a lot of fragrances from goldfield and banks from the discovery kit as well that to me it is not my favorite from goldfield and banks um i think i will prefer the sunset hour first uh, for me to have a full bottle of uh, and this is something that can wait okay this is a love however it's not something that i am like wowed that i really need to have right now um yes do i recommend it yes especially if you are into ginger because this is just something different as well um i haven't smelled anything like this actually um yeah that is ingenious ginger i saved this fragrance for the last part of this video because <laughs> this is such a big disappointment for me and this is sakura by ormond jane guys this is very hype here in youtube and i know a lot of people love this one and a lot of youtubers raved about it but this to me is just a no it has a long list of notes then i'm just gonna tell you what i am picking up from this perfume i'm definitely picking up bergamot pink pepper coriander which i think is the culprit of that stinky feel that i'm getting osmantos oh definitely freesia mm. musk vanilla and cedar sad to say i am not getting any cherry blossom vibe from this fragrance and the name is sakura okay which means cherry blossom um in japanese and i think the only cherry blossom uh from this fragrance is the bottle because it looks pretty and yes definitely reminds me of cherry blossom but the scent you guys it has nothing to do with cherry blossom um i've been to japan for the sakura season actually two or three times and this is not this has nothing to do with cherry blossom this is a very spicy fragrance um this has a very disturbing note in it that smells like body odor on me and you know 
Nobody mentioned this. This one actually reminds me of Guidance, one of my favorite fragrances, okay? But only the disturbing part of Guidance. So imagine that disturbing part that a lot of people are complaining about Guidance. You get that from here. I get that disturbing smell the entire time that I'm wearing this. It is so bad <laughs> because at least in Guidance, it changed, okay? Anyway, I don't want to talk about Guidance. I gave this fragrance a chance, okay? I wore it a lot of times. I gave it some time to macerate and everything, but then, you know, it, it really didn't do it for me. Um, yeah, guys, that's why I will never recommend you blind buying fragrances. I have no one to blame but myself because I saw this one on a great deal together with Levant, which I'm happy to own now because I bought them together. But anyway, guys, this is just a no for me to the point that I think this is like so far the worst fragrance that I have tried this year. Um, it's just not for me. I think this is a love or hate. The thing is, I get the creaminess in here and like some soapiness as well. Um, it's soury and peppery freesia to me. Basically, just imagine like white florals drench with vinegar. Yes. Yes, that's what I'm getting from this fragrance. Oh my god. Yeah, sorry guys. I know a lot of you love this fragrance. Um, Yeah, that's why guys always always sample and do not blind buy fragrance. Um, Yes, that's my that's my thought about this one. Um, Sakura by Oman Jane. So that is the video for today guys. I hope that you enjoyed watching and please don't forget to like if you did enjoy and subscribe if you haven't already. I know that it's like the vacation time right now and yes, I hope that you're having an amazing time. Um, I would like to know if you've tried any interesting perfumes these days. Please write me down in the comments down below. Um, that's all for today, guys. See you on my next one. Bye.